we started this project, we were thinking about, we have this VR headset, we have this technology, what are we doing with this? I thought this would be a great time to be able to have the students explore the inside of a cell. One of the things that I do with students is we go through our microscopes, we do labeling of organelles, we do misconception probes. One of the things that I haven't been able to show them is the fact the organelles move inside the cytoplasm. The objective for VR was to give students a chance to go inside the cell and see the organelles move, have them experience the inside of the cell. Uh, we put that on and basically and then explore like what's inside the cells. I watch like cell videos inside the cells, what role they have. What I saw before was like basic, you know, diagrams. And I couldn't get the real picture of the inside, but when I used the VR thing, like I could look around and then real stuff, like stuff moving. And so it became like a 30 minute field trip. They all enjoyed it they were able to reflect about all the things they learned just from that short experience. There are plenty of uses for virtual trips, for any kind of uh, places where it's physically not possible to go, whether to go inside the cell or go to an ancient historic site. VR, I think it's a, it's a really wonderful opportunity to get students like first exposure, to get them excited, and then you can delve into the actual lesson and then maybe supplement that with periodic VR experiences. I would suggest anyone out there who wants to take their kids somewhere that they may not be able to go to, whether it's um, a place or a field trip, those 360 videos on there are wonderful opportunities for our kids to really have an applied learning experience.